So after this huge discussion, what are the benefits of API testing? Well, they are much faster than GUI tests. Why? Because it's a simple communication between the client and the server that just goes through the internet. So imagine this. If I wanted to test the authentication, for example, of getting a token, I just randomly found this website, so I'm not fully understanding exactly what all these services do. But let's say the authentication is you put in a username and then you send it and then you have to get back to make sure that this username is correct and exists in the database. So how would you do it through a GUI? You have to open the application. You have to type in the username. You probably have to hit the send button and then validate to see if the correct response comes back. You know, that may take, what, a minute, two minutes just to test that service. But with an API, what's happening is you're directly just putting that into an XML. You're sending it, and you're getting back the response. And how long does that take? Maybe five seconds, if that. So that's why API testing is much faster than GUI testing. You can run a 1,000 API tests in a fraction of the time that you can run a 1,000 GUI tests. The other great benefit of API testing is that they can be created without the UI. They can be done earlier in the SDLC. So for example, as your development is making code, you can be creating API tests to test their code. And these API tests would do things such as, for example, you know, if you want to test the boundaries or if you want to test the logic. Remember, you're testing the logic of the architecture. So if you understand the architecture well, you can be testing its logic, you know, to make sure that, hey, if I want to get back the username, you know, can I put in a whole bunch of random characters? Can I put in special characters? That kind of stuff. And you should be getting the appropriate response back. Finally, the other great benefit of API testing is that it's actually easier to create than a GUI test. Like I showed you guys, it's so basic. It doesn't involve, you know, opening the application, typing username and password, sending that username and password, then waiting for a response from the application. That's a whole bunch of steps. With the API test, you put in the values that you want to send, and then you check for the values that you want to get back. And that's it. That's your entire test done in an instance.